999 won't help you much when it's a dog that's injured in a street accident. And more's the pity. But there's no need to stand idly by. A phone call from anywhere within a 10-mile radius and the animal ambulance of the Dumb Friends League is on the spot. It's a service that puts a deeper meaning into the phrase man's best friend. No play acting this. Bob, a cross spaniel by pedigree, was an actual case. Jean Archer is the name of the animal nurse, ward maid or caller by what title you will, enough for us that she's one of the type of open-hearted womanhood that you find taking to jobs like this. The ambulance cost a thousand pounds, all donated by voluntary subscribers. It's good sometimes to see just where your money goes. The nurses are not trained vets. That'll come later. A little first aid. Ah, that's something Bob won't forget. But in a world where humans show scant consideration for humans, it's good to know someone troubles about him. To the doors of this animal hospital near Victoria, come more than 10,000 dogs, 3,000 cats, and nearly 100 horses each year. Patients also include 150 birds and 50 nondescripts, tortoises and tame mice. But why is he on that table? Don't breathe a word to him, he's about to be x-rayed. Bob well knows, of course, that it's just a dog's life to be pushed around. What he doesn't know is that the report on that x-ray may save him months of limping around on a badly set leg. He's a luckier dog than he knows. Back comes Doreen Still, the x-ray operator, with the inside story. Compound fractures suffered by dogs in street accidents have doubled in the past 12 months. There'd be thousands of badly maimed dogs hobbling around Britain's streets, but for care like this. So, to the end of an episode in the life of a single dog. For the nurses, just one more job done. For Bob, something to show his fellows when he gets home.